Hi subscribers and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just thought I would uh, give you a look at the um, latest acquisition, our Sismo pedestal and maybe a little bit of background about why we went that way. So let's get right into it. So let's have a good thorough look at it. All metal construction, very solid, very well put together. Dimensions are accurate as per the real thing. Uh, finish, absolutely flawless. Love this bit, they've got all the fuse panel in the back. Um, passenger address system, interphone, all of these are real connectors if you want to hook them up. Um, and then we get to the pedestal modules themselves. So let's have a little bit of a closer look there, shall we? Okay, so um, of course not all of this is new technology. There's um, quite a lot, lot of this stuff is left over from the NG. However, uh, as you can see, 737 Max Pedestal from Sismo. Um, the way they do their things is that they put their base plate built into the pedestal and when you attach your radios, all you have to do is screw these radios in and they attach via the IDC connectors on the back of the radios. Absolutely brilliant system. No mucking around with cables or anything like that. The only thing you do have is... Um, I have heard occasionally where the modules don't line up and I've got a slight bit of misalignment here, I think. Um, generally not too bad. Um, blanks, I will make my own blanks to fill in these holes here just out of uh, acrylic panel. So that's easy enough done and just paint them the RAL 7011. Um, but these panels, the finish on the panels and the uh, switches that have been used are absolutely top class. I've, I don't think I've ever seen another radio manufacturer and I've had OC, I've had CP Flight, um, quite a lot of the different radio manufacturers, FDS, and um, these are as good as, if not better than everyone I've ever seen. Um, very good, solid feel to everything. Um, so I'm very, very, very happy about that. I do have two ASPs that I've already purchased and a couple of modules which go in the top here just to finish the population off here. However, those modules are still with Sismo and they're working with ProSim on the new uh, Max suite to make sure everything works exactly as per the Max when, uh, when it gets back in the air and flying again. So um, basically that's it. Um, also the fire handles. Um, beautifully manufactured, all solenoid controlled again, uh, top of the wazza. Um, uh, the one thing that really did attract me to this unit was the quality of the gear versus the pricing. Um, the two major manufacturers, CP Flight and FDS, their, um, their, uh, even their fire panel was quite expensive um, and we're talking about delivered here to Australia. And when I did the pricing with the Sismo, it was quite dramatically cheaper. And uh, not only that, it was a, it's, it's all better, or in some cases, better quality. So um, that's why I went that way. Of course, these are only my opinions. Um, that's why I went that way. And um, I'm very, very happy with what I've got. So there you can see the um, almost finished pedestal. Um, this is ready to go now. All I have to do is get those other modules from Sismo, plug them straight in and put my blanks in. This is a fully functional um, pedestal ready to fly. So I don't have to do anything with this. It's just a matter of um, inserting it in the um, simulator, bolt it down and we're good to go. So there you go. That's a little, um, a little wrap up of the um, Sismo uh, pedestal. Um, I'll have some other items that I'll be showing off very, very shortly that are ready to, also ready to go straight into the sim. And then hopefully over the next uh, month or so, we'll have some actual build going on and um, some testing in the sim itself, ready for the uh, Max to emerge um, from, our, um, from our little airline. Okay, well that's all for now. Thanks for dropping by and hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.